Afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for coming out. Give yourselves a big round of applause for coming. It's a good effort to get here. Good to see the crowd go. Oh, and there's more of you. They can be louder. Come on. This gets nowhere without you guys, so it's really critical that you recognise the effort that you guys put in as well. So we're fortunate today that we have the attendance of SAPOL and the media, so the fact that they're here gives them a chance to take action on showing where they stand with how they address the news and relevant situations of society. So I'm putting an invite. The police have seemed to have wandered off to another issue, so they're now really concerned. But the media, I invite you guys to come and film what's being play, spoken about and actually address it in the correct context on the media. Whether or not they will, we'll see. But either way. It'll be a world first. It will. It will. So, notice none of them have actually heard, so I don't think that'll happen. Anyway, um, my name's Nick. I'm part of the CLC community. Um, as you can see, our, our main solution is to get these private political parties out of running the show. So this is our solution. No more private political parties. Governance by the people, of the people. And transparency. People. So that's one of our solutions, and I'll get to the aims and principles of what we're doing behind that, but another issue we need to seriously address before any of this is going to get anywhere, we know the QRs are in place, we know the lockdowns are happening, we know the jobs being rolled out, we know all the issues behind it, but why is it not stopping? What's the reason that it's still happening? Because coincidentally enough, that building over there, police and media, please take note of this. That building over there houses the Supreme Registry Office, the District Court, and the District Court Registry Office, and the Sheriff's Office. All judicial offices, but it is a Freemason building. If we look at just their first oath of a first degree Freemason, the first oath reads, binding myself under no less a penalty than that of having my throat cut across, my tongue torn out by its roots, and buried in the rough sands of sea at low water mark where the tide ebbs and flows twice in 24 hours, should I ever knowingly or willingly violate this, my solemn oath and obligation as an entered apprentice mason, so help me God and keep me steadfast in the due performance of the same. What kind of an oath does a man of God take for that? Exactly. The second one gets better and the third one's even worse. So we've got to ask, if these people are taking these oaths and they're sitting in our judicial system, and in, what? and in Parliament, and in law enforcement, and in authorities of any sort, and in council, in any system of governance, and in education, in churches, any public office or position of power, these people are sitting in. Do you think we're going to get anywhere while they're there? No. Not a chance. So we need to get these guys out. So, unfortunately I've done something a bit dodgy for you guys. Because I've now made you aware of this, you're now responsible to advise everyone else that you come across of this same principle. This goes to the police and to the media as well. Because now that you're aware of this information that that district court building houses Freemasonry secret occult society officers, if that isn't given out to people as knowledge, under Section 80 of the Criminal Code Act, you can now be charged under treason. Yeah. Yeah. Which is why this needs to be presented to everybody.
I've gone, there's been a number of us handing out some flyers, so hopefully you've grabbed some. We haven't got heaps, but we've got a few. The Justice Assembly website, if you go to www.thecommonwealthjusticeassembly.com, that same flyer is up there. The membership form is up there as well, and that's got our policies and procedures on it. I uh, look forward to having more time later at another rally to speak further. Or you're welcome to come down and see us uh, at 86 Liston Road, Lonsdale. Every Sunday, 12 o'clock, we have a lunch and a, a shared lunch and a network meeting, a uh, network group that runs to about 1.30. Then we'll go through having a meeting from 1.30 until 4, 4.30 and then networking after that. Feel free to come along, you sign up to the Justice Assembly, we'll start taking, uh, taking steps so that we can get back in control of Parliament, yeah. get back in control of government, get yeah. rid of these private political parties, yeah. get it back in the hands of the people where it belongs, yeah. get it away from these totalitarian, tyrannical, obsolete, reptilian, negative influence people, yeah. and return it back to the God-given right that we deserve. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for everyone. Look forward to seeing you soon. Cheers. Important quick word. What we also need to do is to exclusively use cash because they are trying to phase out cash and go cashless. And if that happens, they can start bringing in all these taxes up to us, like if you want to give a birthday present to your niece or nephew, they can, they could, they'll, they could probably bring in a law and just tax that. They can tax anything, and I think it's, it might be an inconvenience now using cash, but when it's cashless, it will be an even bigger inconvenience. So always use cash exclusively. And if you don't have cash at the supermarket, get cash out. So at least transactioning through cash. So spread the word. Very important. Now the rest of you need some sort of uh, swipe card code for the tooth fairy. <laughs> so, uh, if there is, is there an appetite for a, a bit more of a march? Yes, there is. We're going to follow along behind Jamie. Jamie's from Adelaide Rises. He's the one alerting me. I can see that everyone's a bit antsy and needs to. If you could please come over to the table. We're just going to take a few minutes to reorganise and get behind the banner. But if you can go over to the table, there's a no vaccine passport petition to sign and we're very keen for donations. Donations just to cover printing costs, PA costs, etc. Stage costs now because we've moved up in the world, literally. Um, so all of those things, gather yourselves, we'll march behind the banner.